fam, I hope everyone's doing great. Um, this is another video on the tune and the car is off of course. I just want to show you guys, I, I didn't put early spool on my first tune, it was on stage 2. So when you, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it now. So when I go to K-Tuner, this is whenever you want to do like extra modifications to your car after you install it. Um, just click on that app and then it should upload, the K-Tuner should open. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys, so make sure this is connected and the USB is not connected yet. And we're going to go ahead and install it. This one's going to be facing inwards, the light is right down there. Hold this to the computer. Yeah, so that's gonna pop up. All right, so once I give it uh, power, uh, well, not yet. Once it's uh, I put it down there, it's installed, I'm gonna give it um, power from the car. Remember to have the accessories on only. I'm gonna turn off my AC, kill the battery then, turn off my radar, my dash cam. That'd be off. All right. And then you take the USB and you install it on the side that has one USB port. That's gonna be the highest one. That's gonna give you the most power from the laptop. And then that's where, let's see what happens here. All right, so everything you see came up, temperature, all that stuff, it's whatever. So it's live, it's good. Everything is here, moving all these, all these whatever buttons. All right, so once everything is showing up, we're gonna go to um, File, New Tune. And we're gonna click on the cord that it's gonna read, your might be 2.0 or 1.5. So we're gonna click that. Even if you click here, it's still gonna hide like that. Then we press next. And of course, stage two, um, dual target one. I love this one. So you can take a quick glance and read it, all of them. And just pause it and just read whatever you want in the future. And we're gonna go ahead and press next. All right, so it's loading. All right, so everything loaded up. Honestly, again, I don't touch this stuff. Um, so we're gonna go to the layout. And yeah, I'm not touching this stuff. Rev limits. It's at 6,600 already. High restart, 6,001, okay. And then I mean, mostly you're gonna skip everything unless, well, except uh, if you have any modifications, you want to disable the code. Like for instance, my catalyst efficiency, I have a PRL downpipe, so I get the engine code. So I want to uh, disable that. And I'm not touching this stuff. Nope, closed loop settings, fuel cut settings, map scaling, no. Uh, quick adjustments. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I had it before. And then a uh, early spool, that's what I was missing. Um, so I want this because I'm gonna be installing the the silicone hose from the PRL Motorsports uh, to get direct airflow and no more restrictions on the airflow. And what else is it? Quick boost by gear, no. Yeah, I'm not going to be touching anything else. So, anyways, so when you're done, you would just go to, um, let me make sure my click enables. Okay, already spools on. So, it would go to upload basic code. And you would just put yes, make sure the laptop is, you know, charged enough and all that stuff. It's on this Wi Fi or whatever. You would know here, green. Um, yes. So this is if you have like the version 2 and all that stuff, you can have different slots. But I'm just going to flash it directly to my ECU. And when it says preparing. All 
All right, so I'll get back to you once. Never mind, I said you're racing. So here, you're gonna see all these, all these freaking sensors. So don't worry about it, guys. I, I showed it to you before by first video. It's all gonna go green within like, just drive for five, 10 minutes. It, it's, it's different for everybody. Some people, they drive two minutes and it's all green. Some people drive two blocks and it's all green. I had to drive literally 15 minutes to get it all green. I guess I was driving local, that's why. But whatever. Um, yeah, don't worry about all these sensors. Don't get tricked. It says erasing. So in the bottom it says it's erasing too. And um, so once this is green, I'll get back to you guys. So after that bar is green, it's gonna say uh, flashing, do not disconnect. And once this bar is green, even this one changed. The other way in the bottom, it says flashing. Focus it off. There you go. And I know you guys want me to make a, a video on like pulls, like zero to 60 on stock. I'll, I'll get you zero to 60 um, on a stock accord from my friends. And I'll do zero to 60 in my car. And then I'll do a, a, a race or two with them. And I'll let you guys see how that looks. But that video is going to come out most likely next week. Because it's going to take me time to edit. And and get everything set up. And have him come over. Since he's um, on vacation for two days. But yeah. I'll be. Uh, what's it called. So make sure you watch the full videos. Uh, starting September. Because I'm going to be doing giveaways. On random videos. And most likely it's going to be Amazon gift card. Because everyone needs money and shopping on amazon is the best <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be the best part and yeah so let's I'll, get, I'll come back to you once this flashing is green the bar is done all right guys so it's almost done this is what you're gonna get please keep the vehicle off for a few seconds <laughs> turn uh the key back on and wait a few seconds before hitting okay yeah, my nephew came, that's why I was speaking so slowly, staring at him while he comes to my car. So, please keep the vehicle off, okay? We will, once. And then we're gonna wait about 5.7 seconds. It's okay if you wait like 10 seconds to be safe. Turn the key back on and wait, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and turn the key back on. Make sure your foot is off the brakes. And one more time, accessories are on. And just wait five to ten seconds. Yeah, I think that should be good. All right, so we press OK. And it says flash successful. Click OK to continue. All right, that's good. And so what you do now is just uh, pretty much turn off the car because I already said. And you're going to close this. And then the laptop's gonna, well, you could unplug it now. And a lot of people are confused because not many people put on put out information about this. The K-Tuner, the flash has to be, it doesn't have to be plugged in while you're driving after it's done. So once it's done, you could just take it out. And um, so I'll repack this back in the K-Tuner box. Uh, that's about it. And then you just go for a drive and everything should go green. And I'll add a clip to this once I get out. All right, guys, so once you start the car, you just go for a drive. Um, sometimes you're going to have to drive uh, maybe, I don't know, five minutes, maybe ten minutes. But recently I heard that, uh, well, the last time when I was doing it, I actually had to, I, you know, I gave up and I went home and just locked the car. And then, you know, and then later on I had to go get something and I started driving again and everything went green by itself. So be patient, it does take time to go green and don't go, don't panic or don't stress out on anything. So eventually it will go green. It just takes, I guess, longer drive than it used to because of the new software at least. But yeah, thanks for supporting the channel guys and uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification icon bell and I'll be starting to give away, uh, to do giveaways <laughs> like Amazon gift cards. So stay tuned and Thanks for uh, sharing the channel and thanks for supporting it. Later. All right, so I drove about uh, seven minutes on the highway 
and everything went green, which was perfect. So I suggest don't drive locally. Um, just go on the highway and drive about anywhere from six to 10 minutes and you should be good. Everything is green and I'm in good hands. And uh, yeah, thanks for supporting the channel. Stay safe.